Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie and I'm back with another haul from the Family Thrift Center outlet. I just can't seem to stay away from there. I really like the fact that they bring out all their new stuff at one time, once a week. So once you go through the store, you know that they, you've seen everything that they have to offer at that time. A lot of times with Goodwill and the Goodwill outlet, I go through the store and then I'm left wondering, What's, what's going to be on a new rack? What's going to be in a new bin? But here you go through and you've seen everything. And it just feels so great when you leave. You know that you've found the best things. And I can't wait to show you guys what all I have today because it's everything from vintage to bolo brands to on-trend pieces. First thing is these amazing shoes, which I was so surprised to have found shoes because a lot of times at thrift center outlets, people monopolize the shoes. They don't just go through and find them all one by one. They take their arm on the shelf and swipe them in their cart. So to have found these amazing AS98 boots, I was just so surprised. This is what they look like on the bottom. The brand is AS98 and these retail at over $300. These ones are like new. They're a size 39, which is equivalent to about a size eight and a half. Really great piece. I love the studding on them. That's actually what drew my attention towards them is a lot of times studded boots and just studded pieces tend to be worth more money. So I went over and I looked at them and I was like, wow, these seem really quality. So I Googled them and I found out they are indeed very quality, a very nice shoe. They don't look like they were worn. I'm very excited to have found them. This is another bolo you should look for. These are vintage square toe sandals. They are very in at the moment. These ones are definitely in great condition. The brand is Worthington. They don't have any flaws on them. The one predicament that I had with them is the fact that they don't have a size. At least I haven't found it anywhere yet under the strap. I haven't seen it here. It's not on the bottom. So I'm thinking to sell them, I'm going to have to do the measurement from the toe to the back and then also just compare how it fits on my foot. But I don't think that that'll be much of a problem. Right now, these sandals are reselling at around $40 on Poshmark. So I'm really excited to have found these. Definitely an on-trend piece. I did find another pair of square-toed sandals. These ones are super funky, super fabulous. They are a size eight and a half. Look at that heel. It's so cool. They have an amazing square toe, a really funky, fun strap too. The brand is Ann Klein. They do have a bit of wear on them right here, but I think the fact that the wear is at the back and more so at the base of the foot, it won't really be noticeable and I don't think that it'll be a problem because the heel is really in nice condition and so is the nice square toe. So this is definitely not noticeable. So overall, a really fun, good piece. Really cute, I like them a lot. The next thing I have is these Lucky Brand Booties. These are a beautiful burnt orange color, which is really in at the moment. They have peep toe front, little wooden heel. The size is a size six, really cute piece. Lucky Brand is very expensive new and it tends to resell really well on Poshmark. Then we have these little Moto Booties. These are a size nine. The brand is Soda. They are super cute. I am really into them. I've sold a similar pair on in my Instagram before and they did really well. They were really popular. So I'm really excited to have another pair today. These are definitely a Bolo brand. I think most people probably know of it. It's Allbirds. These are their classic wool runner. They are a size eight and they're the women's pale yellow color. They're a little bit worn. They definitely could be thrown in the wash, but Allbird is definitely a great brand that really advertises that they're washable and they're wearable. So once I throw them in the wash, I think that they'll be like new. The bottom is actually really in good condition. It's a little bit dirty, but I think that they were probably just worn a few times. They just got a little dirty. They just need to be washed and they'll they should sell great. This yellow color is actually apparently pretty rare. Um, but we'll see. Um, 
Alberts resell at around like $60 on Poshmark, so I'm really excited for these. Then we just have these fun little jelly sandals. They're a size 6. The brand is Forever, which is probably just Forever 21, but not quite sure yet. I haven't looked too much into them. I just they thought that they were too fun to pass up because I typically only ever see jelly sandals in the kids section. So when I found like a woman's sized ones, I was like, all right, I got to get them. You sold me. Next up, we have these granola sandals. <laughs> I just say granola because they're hiking sandals. The brand is the North Face, which obviously is a great brand to pick up. They're a size nine, great condition, don't really look like they were worn much. There's like a couple of marks on the straps, but the bed of the sandal is an excellent like new condition along with the base. So a really good pickup. They look like they're reselling at around like $30 to $40 on Poshmark. Then we have some cowboy boots. I can't pass picking up cowboy boots and these ones are super fabulous. They are a slouchy style with studs at the top, a little bit of embroidery at the toe, a little bit pointed, a slight heel. The size is a nine and they're bare paw they are not in perfect condition they do have a little bit of wear on the inside but overall they're in really good condition they're real leather great piece i just i think that cowboy boots worn in a little is kind of cool too and and i just thought they were so cute i couldn't pass them up the last accessory i found today is this little briefcase style Dooney and Burke bag. I do believe it's vintage, but I'm not 100% sure. It does have a bit of wear at the strap, but nothing too crazy. I don't know if you guys can even see it. A little bit of wear here at this strap. Overall, it's in really good condition. It's a cute bag, and I I love picking up Dooney and Burke. I think it's just a classy, fun piece. Now for the clothes. I found everything from bread and butter brands to vintage to on trend, just the whole range and so many gems. To start off, I have this Wild Fable romper. It's a beautiful olive green, kind of that military like Top Gun vibe. It's got a hoop zip front and it's a size extra extra large. Really cool piece. Next, I found this funky vintage western jacket. I'm just going to throw it on. I kind of debated it for a second because I was like, well, I don't really know if it's my page, but it's a great western piece and the brand is Wrangler, which vintage Wrangler tends to do really well um, on sites other than my page. I've sold it on Poshmark um, and I've seen it sell a lot on eBay and Mercari as well. So if you see Vintage Wrangler, definitely pick it up. It looks like this. It's a size large, 100% cotton, just the coolest button front. And if I can't sell it, on my page I'll definitely take it to a consignment store I know living in Texas a lot of consignment stores especially in cities like Houston and Austin they love buying Western denim because when people come in and they look at these consignment stores they want to see vintage Western because that's what you think of when you think of Texas so if you're in the area and you're reselling to consignment stores that's definitely a tip to keep in mind the next thing I found is another vintage denim jacket, and this is also a piece to be on the lookout for, and this is a chore coat. So it's a vintage denim chore coat, and it looks like this. It has pockets up here and pockets here and just pockets everywhere. That's the whole thing with chore coats is they're very pocket heavy, um, and they're really on trend right now. So this brand is Basic Editions, and it's a size extra large the reason that they got so popular is really interesting it's actually from pinterest there were like really cool photography kind of style photos that got really popular on pinterest with a girl wearing a chore coat in the forest and then i've seen them really taking off on sites like poshmark and instagram and everywhere so totally be on the lookout for those they're going for about 40 to 50 dollars on resale platforms really great find the next thing i found is just a basic bread and butter piece this is a free people white tunic top it's a size small but free people sizing is all kinds of weird and this size small could definitely fit up to a large it's got lightly puffed sleeves and it's just your classic 
free people label nothing special but a great staple then i found this fun urban outfitters dress again just a basic urban outfitters label but a really great like print and piece like look at this fun little bird print and floral it's a nice pale yellow perfect for spring and summer it's a size six but i really don't buy that it's a six i feel like it's more of like an extra small um just by the looks of it but either way it's really cute a really sweet piece this is a really fun find it's not a bolo brand but it's just a fun style and look at these pant suit legs like have you ever seen something more fun it has pockets it has a tie waist the top of this pantsuit is just basic like t-shirt kind of like but the pants are what make this piece it's a size medium it looks to be true to size really fabulous really fun i could not pass it up totally my style then we have this h&m shirt dress it's got long sleeves with buttons at the cuffs really great neutral piece funky shoulders baby doll waistline size small brand new with tags a really nice quality piece which is surprising i know it's from h&m but the feel is actually what got me i was going through the racks and i was like that feels fun and it is it's a cool piece i really am into it i have another fun dress this brand is baltic born i never have seen this brand before but i looked it up and it resells at around 40 dollars on poshmark really fun dress a nice emerald green it's got that scrunchy material the neckline is really cute little v-neck really quality like new size small i i'm really just into the color and the feel of it and the brand is a quality one too then i have just a basic bread and butter brand piece and that's made well it's a size extra small little linen midi skirt got pockets really great piece feels linen like like new really good then i have this jumpsuit it's just from old navy so it's not anything special but it is a piece that i have in my personal closet which is the reason i picked it up i actually have this same jumpsuit but in navy in my personal closet so i felt like i needed to pick it up because i personally love my jumpsuit so much it's a size small it's just super cute red jumpsuit from Old Navy pretty basic then I have this stunning vintage slip dress it doesn't have a size on it but it's absolutely gorgeous it has this lace detailing along the top adjustable straps and a beautiful lace bottom really classic piece amazing condition had to get it I found so much vintage denim in this haul and Ah, oh, it's so good so the first pair of vintage denim is this pair of vintage bill blast jeans they are true women's vintage jeans and the reason i say they're true women's is because a lot of times with vintage denim girls are re-wearing men's jeans which is totally fine do you i do it too but they don't accommodate women as well like they don't have room in the hips and butt and they can just feel tight and uncomfortable in the wrong places so finding women's ones is amazing these are amazing high rise sizes size 12 super fabulous so excited to have found them then i found true shorts these are vintage 550 women's shorts they're a size 8 so cute Classic Levi's, amazing piece. I'll leave it at that. I found another pair of Bill Blass jeans. These are shorts. They're a nice dark wash. They are a size eight petite, little scrunchy waist, so a little bit more of a flexible sizing. They're that classic Bill Blass label. That's what that looks like. I always, whenever I see it, I know exactly what it is because I'm super into vintage denim. Love those. Another pair of vintage Levi's. These are full length. These are a size 10 short. So another pair of women's jeans. They're just a nice light wash. These might be for one of my watchers. They reached out to me and let me know that they're looking for a pair of vintage Levi jeans in a size eight. 
um, and a 10 typically is pretty close to an eight um, if it's vintage. So hopefully these work for them. I'll send them the measurements, but if not, and you're interested, hit me up as always. So this is just a basic pair of mom jeans from PacSun. They are a size 27, like new, nothing crazy. The brand's just PacSun. They're not vintage, but they have that vintage vibe and a great pair of jeans. They feel super comfy and cozy, so I had to get them. Then I have this vintage scarf. It's so cool. It's got clocks all over it. It's red, white, and blue, and it's a really nice size. So I love how wide it is because a lot of times people sell scarves that can also work as tops, but they typically only work for an extra small small, but this one can totally work for a lot of sizes because it's a lot larger than your normal scarf. So I'm really excited about this. Plus the print is just amazing. I still have more. I know. Um, <laughs> I have more tops. So this is a funky vintage top. The brand is Carol Little, and that's a pretty popular vintage brand. I've come into contact with it before. That sounds like I'm talking about coronavirus. I've definitely just seen this brand before, but it's really fun, a funky piece. I love the vibes on it. There is no size on this, but it looks more like a small medium if I'm judging. Um, it's got cool cuffs really just a funky fun print all over super fun really into it i found this jacket that is a total free people ruby jacket dupe it's got no brand at all um but it's just a quilted yellow jacket and there's no size either but if i was to size it i would say it's a medium you can see the quilt detailing on it it's button front look up the free people ruby jacket and i'm telling you this is a dupe like i don't know which one came first but that's basically it so i'm excited about that i found overalls and if you know me you know i love finding overalls these overalls are kind of like hiking overalls i don't know they're kind of funky they're just from target and they're a size extra extra large they've got this netted pocket at the front buttons down the side super funky fun piece the the material feels like hiking pants you know what i mean like kind of that light loose feel super cute super perfect for outdoors i know national parks are really popping off right now um because people can travel again so these will be perfect for somebody who is outdoorsy i found another pair of overalls these ones are denim overalls the brand of these is mountain lake it, this is a size medium i've actually sold this brand before definitely a good brand to pick up they sell for around like 30 40 dollars um great vintage overall for sure super cute wash i love it definitely an oversized fit as it is too i can kind of tell uh, it doesn't look like a strict medium kind of a little flexible which i like i think overalls look cute with a little bit of room then I found this fun little anthropology top. It's polka dot, size extra small, fun little funky piece. Got buttons down the front. The tag is all coiled up, but I'm telling you it's anthropology. It's just the basic by anthropology brand, so a fun piece. I like picking up anthropology, especially if it's a good deal, but I know a lot of times nowadays it's not necessarily worth paying up for as much. Next thing I found is this fun little pair of Hawaiian shorts. They're a cotton linen blend, and that cotton linen blend is doing really well on Instagram. They're a size 12, just super cute. Couldn't pass them up. A fun little preppy mini skirt. These are super in at the moment. I think I talked about them before. It's like a golf tennis skirt sort of thing. Very roughly and cute and fun. It's a size 10, but I would say it's more consistent with a size 6, 8. I tried it on myself um, and it's so freaking cute. The one thing is you definitely want to wear some kind of like bloomer underneath. I'd say like biker shorts or something of the sort really cute really fun piece super super on trend i love this dress this is so cute it's no crazy brand i don't even know the brand of it but it's a corduroy jumper dress with a raw hem it has pockets 
buttons down the front. The size is not apparent, but from the looks of it, it looks like a medium. And then, you know, to size it, I'll try it on, let people know how it fits on me, as well as provide the measurements. But it, it's a super cute corduroy raw hem dress. I couldn't pass it up. Then I have this Urban Outfitter skirt, you know, the little shorts, and then make it a little skirt in the front, side tie, paper bag kind of waist. And this burnt orange is really in, if you remember those Lucky Brand shoes. Super cute piece. A fun little Y2K piece. That's this green halter top. There is no brand on this, but it's a size medium and it's so cute. I love it. It's really quality too. I like that it has a built-in um, kind of bra or just liner. Really great. And this piece is so sweet. This is a really cool crochet sleeve top. The brand is just Joseph A. Bank, but it's so sweet. I love this style. I love the crochet sleeves. If you guys know from a few hauls, lots of hauls back, I actually found a similar top myself and I'm super obsessed with it. Last thing we have today is this Intimately Free People tank. It's just a sweet little print with a little side tie sleeve. Super cute, size small. That's all for my haul today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as like this video. If you had a favorite item in my haul, let me know what it is in the comments below. And if you aren't already following my Instagram, at Curated by Natalie, you definitely should be. So that's all for today. Thanks again. Bye.